Messi and Ronaldo crash out the World Cup on the same day. What a time to be alive. This is your World Cup Match Day 16 review. So, we're into the last 16. It's Messi day, it's Ronaldo day. Who was it to? Who was going to come trumps? Who was going to be upstage? Who was going to be the better of them? There was only one man that was going to win that debate today. His name, Kylian Mbappe. What a performance from this young lad. A 19 year old coming into his first World Cup, looking to make a mark on it, just to just let everyone know who he is. Shot a little bit in the group stages, showed a bit of his brilliance, but today, when he needed to, when it means something, in the knockout stages against the greatest player in the world, he stood out by far terrorised that Argentinian midfield and defence, left Mascherano for dead in the 30th minute when he just destroyed that midfield. He picked up, picked up the ball from nearly inside the penalty box, like he was just outside the penalty box in his own penalty box, and he literally ran, and he went and he went, he brushed past an experienced, one of the greatest defensive midfielders of the past sort of 10 years, Mascherano, brilliantly, and then got up to Rojo, breeze past Rojo who had to foul him because otherwise he was going to go and score and that was inevitable and he took him out elbow to the face dragged him down in the box a certain penalty that started things off Griezmann stepped up cool as you like slotted it away 1-0 France France won their way um, but you know as the first half sort of progress obviously they came back into it had a couple of sort of openings and then Angel Di Maria Showing what he has showed him in glimpses at Real Madrid, at Manchester United and at Paris Saint-Germain that he's got in the locker with, uh, I believe it's the goal that was the fur most furthest out in the World Cup. He got it to his left foot and absolutely levered it into the top bins. Nothing that Hugo Lloris could do about that. It was a brilliant goal um, and kind of shot France because they sort of dominated the first half. It's that last sort of 10 minutes they dropped off and Di Maria made it 1-1 before half time and uh, went into half time quite even. People weren't sure whether Argentina were going to step up the plate or whether France were going to do it. Well, first blood actually went to Argentina. Uh, Messi shot, deflected off Mercado, who may have intentionally decided to kick it, but he went in the back of the end and nevertheless was a goal. Two wide Argentina. Argentina enraptured. The fans are getting crazy. The stadium's lifting and they were looking at a France exit in the last 16. But then uh, they France pulled themselves back into it with a magnificent goal, one, arguably one of the goals of the tournament. With Hernandez ran down the left wing, uh, put in a brilliant ball, um, just kind of surpassed the strikers, and it fell to the right back of, uh, of, of France. And you kind of just see the camera appearing, and you're kind of thinking, someone's coming onto this ball fast, and it's Pavard, and he hits it magnificently. And there's an angle you get just behind the goal which you see the ball just slide, as he slices it, just curls into that corner. A magnificent goal from Pavard, and definitely what France deserved, because at that stage, they were angry. They knew that they were 2-1 two, two, uh, two down, they had to get back into it. And what a goal it was as well from Pavard. Brilliant goal from him. And then it was all about Kylian Mbappe. He took the game by the scruff of the neck. You know, we're talking about a guy here He's a 19 year old, he's only got one goal in the World Cup already and he's on fire and he's ripping apart his defence. They had to substitute Rojo at half time because he destroyed them. And what did he do? Another ball in from Hernandez, this time low into the box. A first touch to bring it away from the defender was brilliant and he composed himself to get his shot on target. A good effort, keep up, definitely should have done better. He kind of went with his hand and maybe should have gone with his foot to save it. Nevertheless, Killian pulled it into the back of the net. 3 2 France. And then to wrap it up, a lovely French move starting from Kante. Kante. N'Golo Kante was brilliant in the first half and second half, as usual. Laying it off um, to Pogba, then to Matuidi. Laid it off for Giroud. Um, and then uh, Griezmann and then into Giroud. Giroud tapped it into Mbappe and a cool, calm finish by the French centre forward. A brilliant performance from Mbappe today. Goodbye, Argentina. They did get a consolation goal. Messi put a great ball in the box and Sergio Aguero came on late on, um, got a header to make it 4-3. But that was it. That was the end of Argentina. That was the end of Messi. The next game, Uruguay versus Portugal. All about one man, 
Cristiano Ronaldo? Was he going to fall the same way that Messi fell or was he going to turn up and, and, and do what he couldn't do? In the end, he got, he got upstage. Same way Messi got upstage by Mbappe, Ronaldo got upstage by Cavani. Him and Suarez doing what they do. Brilliant football. So, you know, it started off with a great move from Cavani. Cavani just laid the ball uh, across the floor to Suarez. Suarez cut in on his right foot, looking like he was going to do some magnificent shot, but it was a wonderfully flighted ball back into Cavani, who made the run from right to the back post and just headed it in. I think it came off his face as he jumped and, and headed the ball in. A great goal from them, from Cavani there to make it 1-0 Uruguay. And it looked comfortable, to be fair. Went in at halftime 1-0. Strong, solid squad. Godin, Jimenez, Caceres, they were brilliant at the back. Torreira as well, who was linked with Arsenal, just cleaning up um, in the defensive midfielder position. They were doing excellent. And then it took a, a corner, an unmarked Pepe. Surprisingly, you know, Godin sort of let him go, was focusing on Ronaldo. Pepe got a free header, that made it 1 1. It looked like Portugal were back in it. It looked like it was set up for Cristiano Ronaldo to, to, to win them the game. But it wasn't to be because Cavani got through the other end. Ball came into him on the left hand channel and he cut in. He didn't even take a touch. It was one touch. It was the keeper sort of edged himself to the side and he just sweeped it in the corner. A magnificent goal from Edison Cavani. And that was good night, Ronaldo, and good night, Portugal. They came, they tried, but Messi and Ronaldo, they failed at the last 16 stage. Unfortunately, Portugal and uh, Argentina are out. It's France versus Uruguay in the quarterfinals next stage. It's going to be exciting. Make sure you check out all of our videos, and we'll see you soon.